I just been ballin' out every season Know some niggas I left in the I just been married to double cup I got up on me and four inside another piece Time to pass and then run it up Welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa the Alchemist, formerly known as Nestle Monet. If you guys are new here, welcome. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I just came to give you guys like a little life update. I'm super excited. I'm in a really good mood today. Um, I do have news for you guys. You guys are going to be like, oh my God, Alyssa. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What that TikTok say? Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all. Follow me on TikTok if you haven't at Alyssa the Alchemist. Um, my Instagram is Alyssa Monet. I'll have it here. You know what I'm saying? My Instagram is popping, so make sure you follow me. Um, but y'all, I really just have been in a really good mood. Um, first thing first, I do want to start with a card pull for you guys. A message for the collective spirit guys are the angels. And I dropped it. Mm. Up and out. This card is the up and out card. And he looks sad, sad, down, depressed, right? Right. It says to heal the parts of me that feel hurt. I must feel every emotion. It has to come up to come out. I don't try to push feelings away. I sit with them and feel them as I release them. So if you have been going through in the bottom of the deck says tune in today before doing what I normally do, I will take a moment to slow down to place my hands at my heart space and take a few deep breaths. I will ask myself what I truly want and I will honor however I am feeling. So for the collective, whoever is watching, um, listen to your emotions, trust how you feel, don't stay down, you know, rise up. You don't have to stay sad, you don't have to stay depressed. You can really transmute all of the fuck shit that you are experiencing. And trust me, I know this firsthand. <laughs> So as you all know, um, if you watch my channel, which you should if you haven't, I am more than just a nurse. This channel is more than just nursing. I do readings. Book a reading with me. I am doing 50% off all September. So I am not just a nurse. I do talk about real life things on my channel. And you guys know if you've watched my previous videos that things have not been the absolute best you know everything that glitters isn't gold even though I get up here and I smile I still experience things um, mentally as well so trust me when I say that you are not alone and feel those emotions don't let them keep you stuck okay so I didn't come on here to give a collective reading but I do just want to say that for whoever needs it and don't don't stay stuck y'all rise up come on like come on you got this you don't have to be the person you were yesterday you can change you can totally change your story you can take a hold of your story and change it you are the main character okay you're the main character you're the director you're the producer this ending is in your hands you know what i'm saying so take back your power i'm calling all of my power back to me so take back your power and listen to how you feel and work with that um work with how you feel take some time to journal out how you've been feeling lately okay and rise up transmute all negativity i am transmuting all negative energy and that's on period so anyway so to get right into the video today's video i definitely want to discuss a few things first thing first you've got a new job so um as you guys know i'm a licensed practical nurse so I am a nurse in Chicago, if you guys don't know, and I do have a new job, and it's it's literally a job that I talk to you guys about on a regular. I always say to get a job for you, you can literally manifest the environment you want. You can literally manifest the pay that you want. You really just have to put it out into the universe, the things that you really want in a job. Um... You can really put into the universe anything. So literally, you are in control of every single thing. Don't ever forget it. And you're also, I'm hearing that you're also in control of your healing. So guys, make sure that if you are experiencing a difficult time, that you are choosing to heal from it and not letting it get the best of you, okay? So it's like I'm almost seeing someone fall down into a hole. Beautiful, I promise you, if you feel yourself crumbling, falling down into some sort of depressive state, beautiful, write me on Instagram, seriously, like, um, hit me up. 
reach out to me and I'll tell you how I get through all the fuck shit because if you think that just because I'm on YouTube or you know that I don't experience fuck shit I do so you know I just handle it well um throughout the years I've learned how to better handle those things so that's that my little spiel you know I'm always looking out for the girls and for the ladies who messaged me on Instagram um trusting me with your secrets y'all secrets is always safe for me and I love y'all I fucks with y'all um Y'all are such beautiful people, um, men and women. Y'all are so beautiful, and I'm so grateful that you all are inspired by me and the things that I discuss on my channel. So I'm definitely grateful to be some sort of motivation, someone that somebody can look up to. So, yeah. So anyway, I do have a full-time job, so I will be doing readings now um, part-time. So I'm really just excited, though. I have been literally wow so i literally just opened this deck to the creator of happiness card this card says i reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness it is not dependent on any outside source or individual therefore it cannot be taken away it can always be found within me so literally guys when you wake up in the morning you literally have to step into your power you literally have to take a hold and control of your story okay regardless of the sad story you guys know the things that have happened to me it's not a secret you guys know the things that i've been through and so please believe me when i say that you can definitely still find the pot of gold you can still find your rainbow you are still promised those things throughout this life you're not here on this earth to live some sort of miserable life and i really want you to believe it okay so anyway back to the point so yes guys i did um get a job which i'm really excited about the environment i did have my first day of Thursday so Monday is going to be tomorrow's Monday Monday is going to be um the start of the new week I only did two days so far so far so good I work with a really nice nurse um she was orientating me she's super nice she's super chill which is literally something I pray for I pray like God please give me some chill co-workers because I ain't got time like you know I don't have time so especially with me like since I've been working on me I feel like You kind of are a reflection of your environment. Um, you do get a few sour patches in the work environment. But for the most part, everything is definitely all good. Um, if you're working in the nursing field, I do want to say to not let anyone's negative viewpoint of their job tamper your viewpoint of your job. Okay, so if you're working with somebody who like hates their job, like don't let them, when they start talking that bullshit, just get away from that like get away from that negativity if you don't want to be around that but yeah it's cool calm and collected which i am so grateful for and i am just super excited to be in the field to know that i am positively impacting someone's life i am working with children so i'm so happy to be able to be able to touch little people um <laughs> they need the messages the most they need the positivity the most in my opinion um they need the me so i'm definitely grateful to be able to positively impact a child's life i think this is going to be such a great experience um especially working in the area that i work in so um this is just going to be so fun i'm super excited um i'm just super excited so yeah, guys, I know y'all be wondering, like, what Alyssa got going on? Like, what she been up to? Y'all are just saying, getting my life together, really becoming more disciplined with the things that I want out of life. You know, so if you want something specifically out of life, you really have to buckle down and decide to go and get those things, you know. I've really learned to find a balance between attracting and actually putting in work as well. So, um... You are promised a good life, but you really do have to put some sort of work behind those things to achieve it. And that's literally what I learned uh, since I wasn't employed. Um, I was working for Spirit, but I wasn't employed in an, um, as a nurse since April, since my grandmother passed away and I lost my job. If you guys know, terrible circumstance, but everything happens for a reason. Like literally after my grandmother passed away, my contract ended out of the blue 
like randomly out of the blue if you know uh, they're supposed to actually give you a warrant like not a warning but they're supposed to let you know ahead of time when your contract is ending but literally my grandmother passed away and the contract just ended out the fucking blue which was crazy as hell so you know it's crazy but intuitively i kind of knew that that was going to happen so it really didn't take me by surprise that much um and i kind of knew the contract was ending because it was around the time period that the contract was supposed to end but you at least expect like a two week um notice or something or like a a notice in advance that's really how it's supposed to be they're supposed to notify you in advance and not last minute but i do believe that everything happens for a reason so um all of the time that i had i've been just working on my psychic abilities um i've been working on myself doing some healing um definitely still experiencing uh, different things and transmuting all of those experiences um, throughout the years it really gave me time to sit down and reflect on all of the things that I experienced so I'm definitely grateful for it you definitely live and learn um so I don't regret anything that happened I don't regret the time that I had off either you know what I'm saying so I am just super excited to be I am super excited to just be here and to talk to you guys. And also, if you guys haven't seen my other video, make sure to check out this video of uh, me talking about this U part unit that I made from a closure. Check it out. Um, it's a good video. It's definitely good. It's always a way to finesse a wig. But yeah, guys, so I just want to say to anybody who is watching, you are not your current situation. There is a way to rise up and to rise above the bullshit you know you don't have to stay stuck you don't have to stay in that low vibrational um situation you don't have to stay in those sad feelings you don't have to stay in none of that but it is important to acknowledge them so that you can rise up and to just really be better and take back your power take back control of your life you know what i'm saying you're here for a reason you really just have to remind yourself of that so I do want to also do a get ready with me um, since I start work at 9 and I've been getting up really early. I've been getting up at like 6. Um, but yeah, I do want to do a get ready with me. So the cards that I'm looking at right now is conscious focus. It says what I focus on I attract more of. Starting with today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend my time speaking or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. So yes, the energy that you are vibrating at literally can manifest into the 3D. So that's why it's important to always try to maintain a high vibration. But that doesn't mean ignoring how you feel or ignoring your experiences. So definitely important to acknowledge that. And this card says inspiration board. If I am ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. Guys, stay inspired. Stay inspired. Don't lose sight of the things that you are trying to attract. Like if you're trying to attract passing um, a specific class, stay focused. Like stay focused. Stay inspired. Um, watch a channel. Watch a nursing channel. Watch someone who has literally manifested that part of their life. You know, really stay focused on the right thing so lately i haven't been on facebook because facebook is just uh, it's just like a uh, energy i don't need that you know i want something that's going to keep me inspired um i want something that's going to keep me motivated i want something that's going to make me feel good and with all of the negativity that's been on facebook lately i really just haven't been feeling facebook and i haven't been on there at all either so make sure to pay attention to things that lift your energy good music you know good music um people who are actually living the life that you desire and it's not to mimic them but it's literally to just stay positive and know that you what you're trying to get what you're trying to achieve is possible so i follow a lot of high vibrational women and women who um are living these lifestyles that i desire or a similar lifestyle that i desire so y'all i'm just really in a good mood today y'all Y'all don't know, like, throughout, like, this whole entire year has been a challenge, um, a challenge of my strength, so, and I definitely feel really good because I've overcome every single fucking hurdle that has been thrown my way, like, the haters, the, the fuck shit, 
the men, you know, I've literally, the jobs, the finances, I've literally overcome every single fucking hurdle that was thrown my way. Like, can't nobody tell me shit about my strength. If anything that I found um, with it not being employed is that I found my strength and I found my real team. Anybody who wasn't there for me during that time literally got cut off. Anybody who was just in the way, nobody is in the way. Nobody is in the way. Like, nobody is allowed to be in my life without benefiting me energetically or just benefiting me in some sort of way. Nobody is allowed to be stagnant in my life. Like, nah, we not in that people-pleasing energy no more. So I literally cut everybody off. <laughs> Um, literally cut everybody off. I have zero friends, um, except Jasmine. I love her. She has been an amazing support system for me. Um, definitely a go-to person. I love her so much. And my dad. I love my dad so much. He definitely comes through for me every single time. And I just can't wait to be able to pay these people back. You know what I'm saying? So, at the bottom of my heart, I really fuck with everybody who fuck with me the long way. And the people who left me when I was down and out, when I wasn't feeling my best, like, y'all ain't, they weren't for me, you know. You definitely live and you learn. One thing about being down is that when you come up, you really realize the people who were there for you and the people you really need in your energy. So, if you don't take anything away from this video, take away this. When you are at your lowest, you really see the people who are there for you. Um, you really, really, really see the people who are there for you. I've literally had people still coming to me to like use me, but they didn't necessarily know either that I was going through my own thing. But listen, the crazy part about life is that if you just sit back and observe without speaking, you will see, like, God will literally show you the people who are for you and who are not for you. So I learned so much, y'all, and I am just so excited. Like, I'm over the grieving stage of cutting everybody off because you literally have, like, a grieving stage of disconnecting from people. If they never, if you think that you don't, you do. And if you don't, you're probably ignoring how you really feel. <laughs> So yeah guys, that is that. I'm definitely uh, want to create more nursing videos for you guys, especially when it comes to getting the job that you truly desire. One thing I want to do, uh, a takeaway from this video is to pray for what you want, the connections, the friendships, the jobs, the finances. You literally have to be specific in asking for what you want, okay? So that is the video that I have for you all. I hope you guys benefited in some way, whether it was a collective message or just learning from my experience and watching my story, watching my journey, and just being inspired by it. So we all can inspire each other. Like, I literally just saw this girl TikTok who followed me on TikTok tell her story, her own story about HSV2. And I'm just like, oh my God, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's, I'm here for y'all. I'm here for the ladies who feel not, don't feel comfortable speaking up. I'm here for y'all. Like, I love that. That just made me so motherfucking happy. Like, I literally, um, you know, TikTok show you who follow you. And I literally seen the video, her video, in like my for you page. And it was like, she followed you. I'm like, bro. And she was telling her story. I'm like, go oh, girl, tell your motherfucking story. Fuck the stigma. Fuck all that fuck shit. This is really a fucking 3D fake ass, you know, fuck it. Do you, you know what I'm saying? This is your story, your life. Don't ever let anybody feel bad, make you feel bad about your fucking life, like the life that you're living. You only got one life anyway. Imagine going out your life with just like hella secrets and worried about what people think. You got one life, bro. We got one life. Might as well do some, some crazy shit, you know? Fuck it. <sighs> Quote of the day. Fuck it. <laughs> so the bottom of the deck says recharge. It says, I invite magic into my life always. Every day I grow my connection to this earth. If I am ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirit and recharges my energy. So listen, y'all. Go outside. Some people probably need to physically actually go outside. And um, when I used to be at work at my other old job, y'all, I literally used to just sit at the window and stare at the sun. Like, literally just feel the sun rays, uh, watch the sun set. Um, go outside if you need to. Go outside, feel the breeze. Even if it's just riding with your car window down, take a deep breath. So, I love you guys. I will talk to you guys in the next video. I hope this video helps somebody. Be positive. You never know when you're going to win. So, don't give up. You never know. Tomorrow might just be the day you win.
Blame, shame. These bitches thought the day was in my lane. Think they compare these hoes must be insane.